everyone, this is Shannon from theirishscrapper.com, and today I just have a sympathy card for you guys um, using some of our new product from the mini catalog. It's a very simple design, um, but I always need to have a bunch of sympathy cards around, and I was running low, so I thought it would be a good opportunity to create some um, and share them with you as well. So the colors I'm using today is Seaside Spray, Basic Black, and Whisper White. Um, let me show you the materials. We have our card base that is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. I have a layer of basic black that is four by five and a quarter. And we're actually using um, our stitched so sweetly dies. We're gonna cut our rectangle from that layer. I have another piece of seaside spray that is three and three quarters by five. We're going to emboss that with our subtle embossing folder. And then I have a scrap piece of Whisper White for our um, other rectangle layer. And then our stamp sets that we're using today are the Painted Poppies. I'm going to use this one here. And then I'm taking a sentiment from the Peaceful Moment. So this is a suite, um, a huge suite of products. You can either buy the bundles individually or you can buy the entire suite. Um, so the suite would include the Painted Poppies and the dies that coordinate with that. Um, let me see here. These, these are the painted label dies. This is one bundle. And then the peaceful moments coordinate with the poppy moments um, dies. So it's, it's a lot of um, product, which is beautiful all together. Um, but we're actually using the Stitch So Sweetly dies, which is a part of a, another bundle of products. But I love these rectangles as well as these labels. So I've been using these a ton. Um, we have a little scrap piece of vellum. We're going to use that for our sentiment um, as well. So let's go ahead. Why don't we start with our embossing and die cutting and get that out of the way. So let me get my piece of seaside spray. I have my subtle embossing folder here. And I want my lines to go this way. Let me grab a plate. Let's roll that through. Okay, that just gives you enough little texture. This is my go-to folder. I use this one a ton as well. All right, let's switch platforms. Let's bring in our... other platform and I'm just going to put this right in the center so that I can hide the piece that I'm cutting. So just a great way to you know utilize your paper and not waste. Okay so now I have my two pieces of that. Let's grab our white. I usually like stamping first, but we're going to go ahead and wing it. We're going to cut and, and hope we can line it up. Okay. All right, so let me set my dies there so I don't misplace them. And let's start to assemble. So I'm going to do that. Now, I'm going to take that piece we cut, and I'm just going to add some liquid glue here around our edges. Right, I'm actually going to use this side. Okay, so let's line that up. Now we can come back with our subtle piece. And let's get that down. See how that hides? All right, let's put that down. All right, now we have our little rectangle here. Let me grab my poppies, and I'm actually using two inks today. I'm using the Memento ink 
to stamp this and color it. And then I'm using Stazon for our sentiment that we're going to put on the vellum. Um, because I wanted it to be a little darker, deeper black since I'm putting it over our image. So hopefully that will make sense here in a moment. All right, so let's close that one up. Might need to pull this closer to me. Hold on. So I can see. Let me give that a nice press. Beautiful. Great. Okay. Now I'm going to attach this to our black rectangle. I just love these little, the scalloped and the stitched are my favorite. All right, so let's give that a nice little press. All right, and then I have my Seaside Blends here. Um, and I actually used the light blend on my original. So I'm going to take a peek with the dark and see. Maybe it would... Hopefully it doesn't. Maybe I'll just do a few on the edge with the dark. Because I don't want it to interfere with the sentiment that's going to go in the center. So maybe I'll do a few around the edge in the dark seaside. And then we'll do the others in the light. Okay. All right, so this now is going to go in the center. I might do some of these in all of the in colors, actually. And we are going to line that up right there. Let me take a look. Right there in the center. Okay, and now with our sentiment with deepest sympathy, we're going to grab our stays on. I like to turn it over because there's a little clear cover in there. And I am going to stamp that on my scrap here of vellum. And hopefully I will have enough room. I'm using our pretty label. But what I'm going to do is the stays on is a little bit wet. So I'm going to dry that with my heat tool for a moment and then we will punch it. I have my pretty label, and we're going to put that in, line it up, and then as you know, um, adhesive tends to show through the vellum, um, but for this particular image, um, I am just using one glue dot, and I'm actually going to stick it kind of right in the center of those poppies. And I really didn't have any issues. I'm going to lay this over. I'm just going to give that a little press. And yeah, good. I didn't smudge. I thought I smudged, but then I forgot I used stage on and it shouldn't smudge after I've dried it with my heat tool. So um, all good. So there you go. Just a very simple, sweet um, little sympathy card. My, my first one is kind of curling up here. So if you wanted to put another glue dot, um, to hold those edges down, you could definitely do that. Uh, I think once it's in an envelope, it'll be okay. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed um, today's project. This is just a very quick and easy, um, but pretty uh, sympathy card. And you can pick up all of the supplies uh, used in the description in my online store, but you can find the full supply list in the description of this video. Thanks again for watching, and I look forward to being back with you real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.